So the university doesn't have any campus accommodation, so often students live all over the city. As an international student, you can either live uh, in the private accommodation or in SSH housing. So SSH has a lot of houses displaced through the city. Uh, Vince Cotterdeep is one of the biggest ones. He has, it has like 300 bedrooms. I love that we're all international students. So it's nice that we have breakfast, lunch, dinner together. Even though that we have to do kitchen duty to maintain the place, I don't know, it's really nice that we can ha hang out all the time. So I really like living here. I received an email when I applied for uh, the Liberal Arts and Sciences uh, specialization at the college uh, and the email was, was from uh, CCH and uh, they uh, said that there are still three rooms here in this building and I can attend and so I have this room for uh, one year and then I will move out to another accommodation in the city. So I applied a little bit late, but uh, once I got the acceptance, I received an email saying that I should check, the, check out like the SSH site. So I went there and there was just a couple of rooms left and I just booked mine and I was, I'm really happy that I got it. Of course there's downsides, for example, it's a little bit noisy because the walls are really thin and it can be dirty if people don't uh, keep up with, uh, I don't know, kitchen duty, for example. But after all, if we're all civilized and we talk to each other about it, um, it's all good. We can meet each other at any time. We can go together to bars, we can go together to games, we can go together just for a walk or a bike ride somewhere. No matter what type of hangout is, it's really uh, an amazing experience. It's really nice living in a student house. A lot of our friends come over all the time. Uh, sometimes I wake up in the morning and there's already about five different people in the house. Some are making breakfast and figuring out what they're going to do for the day. Uh, in the evenings, every Tuesday, we try and have a house night. So we try to have dinner together with maybe some other friends as well. Uh, during summers, we eat outside a lot of the time because we have a really nice balcony, which you can see the Maritini Tower from and we often go out to the market together or go out for some drinks as roommates as well. As with any student city, it can be really hard to find accommodation, so I find the best way to look for it is if you look for accommodation as early as you can, and the best way to do that is apply for the university as early as you can. It can be easier to find accommodation sometimes when you're in Groningen, so if you arrive in the city and maybe consider a tempo solution first of staying with friends or staying in a hostel as well. It can also help if you widen your search to different towns and villages that surround the city of Groningen, such as Leeuwarden, which is around a 40 minute train away, and to Assen, which is around a 20 minute train away. Another really important tip is to be aware of scammers and never pay for a room before you sign a contract. Another way to find accommodation is through social media platforms or agencies as well. The university collaborated with the municipality to set up a website called athomeinkroningen.com which has accommodation from trusted renters throughout the city. And I think the most important tip is to be persistent and don't stop responding to ads.